think uh, there's a few ways. Certainly there's hashtags that you could use, you know, depending on, well, first of all, you have to know who, you know, who's buying what you're selling. You know, I've, I've identified that a creative director or an agency producer or an account executive at an ad agency um, are going to buy us as a production company, so to speak, or put us forth to bid on a job. And so it's a few ways I'll, you know, sometimes you go down a rabbit hole. Um, you know, once I follow enough creative directors or have followed, I get, you know, suggested. And I, I always look at who the people are that I'm being suggested to follow. And um, inevitably, a lot of times they're, you know, they work at ad agencies. So I'll connect with them and, you know, start conversations. And some people, you know, they don't engage back. And so I just kind of let it go. Um, other times, you know, if I'm at an event, I'll, you know, go through the program and I'll look people up and to see if they're, they have an Instagram account. You know, I was just at uh, an event in Colorado a few weeks ago and there was a guy that spoke that I thought what a lot of what he had to say was awesome. So I wanted to connect with him and, you know, he had a very, he had like the hello at whatever, you know, as his email in there. So it's basically like, I don't really want people to reach out to me is the vibe, you know, when they put that in the program. But I looked him up on Instagram and, you know, he had a decent following. He was engaging. I could tell in all his pictures that a lot of people were leaving comments and he was answering back. So I shot him a note on there and he responded back almost immediately and we met up, you know. And so to me, it's just like it's an additional, I don't know, phone book that you look people up on just like people did in Instagram. Just be, people I'm sure do on Twitter, you know. Um, I just looked them up by their name on their account and most of the time, you know, someone, at least in my field, my customer, so to speak, has an Instagram account, you know, how curated and good it is, is another question. But, you know, I guess that's somewhat of a tangent, I would say is I never really judge anyone's Instagram based on the quality of the posting either. Because, again, I always know that there's a human on the other side of it. And just because they can't take a good picture, or they use too many filters, you know, it doesn't make them bad at being a, you know, a creative director or a producer, it just means they're not good on Instagram, but you know, they're still on there engaging. And so I follow all kinds of people that they're not posting the most artistic shots, but I still enjoy talking to them. And so I follow them, you know? So. All right. Yeah. I think, uh, the Instagram, it does a really good job of suggesting people. And if you can find people that, you know, you you know who your target customers is, or even, you know, your current, customers go follow them on Instagram and see who uh, you know you're being suggested and see if you can reach out to them or if you can get an introduction to them and just build a relationship with them based on on their posts and I think it works even better with like small accounts right like people with hundreds of thousands or millions of followers celebrity so uh, they're not necessarily going to be able to you're not going to necessarily be able to build a relationship with them that comment or post necessarily might not matter as much to them as it would to someone who only gets maybe one or two three comments on, on their posts um, so you can really build an authentic real relationship with those people and identify them especially if they're a potential big client for you as you said you know like not everyone has a has a fantastic um, it might be might, well not everyone is great at Instagram yeah so in terms of like quality posts uh, what does make someone good at Instagram how do we go about creating quality posts and why do they matter well, I think, and I'll give a bunch of breakdowns of how I think you could walk through this. Because then it's practical. Uh, I think first and foremost, if you can take a really good picture, uh, that is a huge advantage. You know, Instagram is a visual platform first and foremost. So I think strong visuals are important. 